guys. What's going on? Long time no see. <laughs> yes. We have been busy building something for the Winchester, Winchester Mystery, Mystery House. House. Yes, they <laughs> contacted us a few months ago and said, hey, we're open. We want to do a Halloween event. Are you guys available to make us some pumpkins and some other fun decorations? And we said, yes. Sure. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to put the castle on hold. Yeah. So that's as far as that's gotten. So sorry for all of you who are like, what the hey, heck what happened? happened to it? We're going to get right back to building that. So just a couple more, you know, days and maybe we'll have some progress on that that we can show you guys. Yeah. But we really wanted to focus on the jack-o'-lanterns that yep. we made. There's two entrance pillars in the very beginning when you go to the ticket booth and they said, look, we need something to you Give know, welcome atmosphere. them yes. and let them know that they're in for a spooky surprise. Yes. So we were like, yes, we took our giant pumpkin molds. I think the Linus one. Yep. Yep. And we turned it into a jack-o'-lantern, but two of them. And it was fun because it wasn't traditional orange. It was stone to yeah. match the columns. So that yep. was pretty cool. And they turned out pretty awesome. Yeah. I do say myself. So <laughs> we did film a little bit of the progress of us doing that. So we will show you that and then we'll show you what they look like at the end. After I got all the face parts cut on the front side, I then took some scrap pieces of styrofoam and some spray expanding foam and glued pieces in. Once the great stuff dried, I used a little handsaw just to cut out these using the edges of my fiberglass as my pattern to cut. I also made sure the saw was at a slight angle so that my little reveals would be a little more prominent. Now the next thing is to go on the back side and start kind of flattening it out to where a piece of plexiglass or plywood can lay flat on the back as much as possible. You'll notice that there's some areas where it's a lot more thicker than other areas. I'm going to end up shaving most of that down.
what's my partner in crime up to? Oh, you know, a little of this, a little of that. <laughs> it's looking so awesome. Thank you. Very spooky. Thank you. So, I guess what I'm doing is I put a base coat on here, a real light color. I don't even know if you can see it maybe in here a little bit. Then I went over with a, a little bit darker of a tan color. It kind of has an orange tint to it. Mahaha. And then now I'm going in with some black shading. I'm trying to go, as you can tell, in all of these little crevices or yeah. crevices right here. Give it that pumpkin look. Yeah, and so what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a wash and trying to get in there here. I'll show you guys. So like I've got a ton of dark paint in there. I'm coming in the crease right here. And then so you don't have a line, you kind of want to blend it out a little bit. Yeah for anyone who wants to do this, but this is what I'm doing. Yeah, this is really cool. And I squirt it with a little Miss Myers cleaner. No, I'm just doing this right here. <laughs> but I like the spray bottle, so it works really well. And then I come in here with my clean little, and this sponge is great if you can see all the different little things. Yeah. It's nice because when you go like this, you know, is that a is that called a sea sponge? Yeah, or is it's this a sea a... sponge. This one's actually meant for the bathtub, but I went to an estate sale and they had a whole bunch of them, so I was like, hey, these are expensive. Yeah. So yeah, just trying to keep all that dark in there and then come back in here. Now, this is really dark. This is way darker than I want it. So I'll come back in here and I'll give it um, kind of a a white, kind of go back in here, wash with some of that and bring back out some of the highlights because this is this is too dark for what we want but it's neat yeah because it's, it's kind of the stone texture and if i was to rub really hard this with a clean one um a lot of the black could come off but then sometimes it looks fake and you spend all this time blending you don't want to just go over and wipe away what you just did we were thinking about busting out the airbrush, but with Gina's technique she's doing, I don't even think we need to because no, this is so. looking really good. Nothing. You can go check out the other pumpkin that I've done. But again, if anybody is curious on this technique, it's really dry here. So if you just spray a little bit of water before you go, that kind of helps make sure that nothing is like permanent. You can always have a minute or two to kind of get back in there. But I was coming in here with the teeth because I want to make them a little bit darker here and then go inside and it's really quite difficult to get in here <laughs> yeah, but we do really the best that me. we can and then sometimes I just take my finger and just go in there a little bit you know but see there you go now I got some dark in there yeah everything about the mount like fiberglassing oh bondoing painting resin. everything was hard to get in there that was resin sorry not raising <laughs> <laughs> resin 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 and so now that that's like that, and then got a little bit of aging on there. These pumpkins are date back to the late 1800s when the mansion was being built. Yes, Sarah Winchester from the grave commissioned us and said, You must do these. Keep the evil spirits away and keep the patrons with money in. <laughs> It's going to be really cool to see how well these match the the old pillars. I'm a little nervous because we're doing the sight unseen. Yeah. You know what? You know how it is like trying to match stuff on the internet like or on your phone? Like even just trying to get the paint colors to match from our phone to the... Oh, to the graphic. You yeah. Because you know? everybody's computer screen is different. Yeah. And now what I need to do is because it's real muddied in some spots, or yes, it looks good for Halloween, stuff like that. Still want to kind of look, make it look classy because yeah. of the Winchester Mansion. So I'm going to just come back in here and just get rid of a little bit of, not too much under where I want it to be, but maybe in some of these other spots. I'm just going to clean it up just a little bit and bring some of that lighter color back. It's cool. It is. But it looks a lot more like stone than it did, right? It's amazing when you can put in a light color, a dark color, and then kind of a neutral color, how it really, you know, pops and... <laughs> I don't even have to get a manicure this week. Aging your hands. <laughs> no, it's cool. 
I was reading too that like the pillars were made out of a white stone, but when you look at them, they almost look like this tan color with a bunch of. I'm gonna say it's from pollution and aging. Some San Jose pollution. Rust. You know California. It looks awesome though, honey. Good job. I don't we like runs though. I can see some runs right here. I don't like runs. <laughs> Who's in there? It's me, Harrison. Whoa. I'm trapped. You're trapped? It's a talking sea. <laughs> I know a little talking sea. <laughs> we started carving this thing and there was a, a little talking seed inside. Hey, that's the easiest way to have a baby. You just carve it open and you get one. <laughs> So here is our finished pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns that are going to be going on the top of the pillars of the entrance of the Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> Technically, it's a mansion, right? Yeah, well, yeah. It was a bigger mansion than it is now, but it's still bigger than our house, so it's a huge mansion. Just so you guys know, these are some of our large pumpkins that we made years ago. We carved them out of the white bead foam and then we made molds of them and then we started casting them with resin and fiberglass. And for these guys, I think this model is our Linus model pumpkin. And what we did is we made them normally like we do and then we cut a face that we liked in there. And then I went through and added some foam and then carved the, the reveal that you see here. Once all that was done, we went through, there was a lot of bondoing and sanding and gel coating and all that stuff. And then Gina and I decided to try shooting it with um, some, flex bond. Yeah, yeah, some flex bond. A thin, thin layer. Yeah. yeah, for yeah. some texture. Yeah, and which I think was a good idea. It was a good we idea, were yeah. To make it match the concrete pillars or the cement pillars that are there. That are there. And also, too, Gina went through and gave it a really good paint job using some of the colors and blending it together to try to match there. It's a little hard doing sight unseen. It is. Because it is. <laughs> you never know the variation, just to go, just to tell you guys, the variation between our phone picture and our computer <laughs> picture yeah. was night and day. And I was like, oh man. So we kind of picked something in between. It was yeah. like, oh, is this the right color? But I think it's still going to work really well. And the nice thing is it's at nighttime. <laughs> yeah. And you went a little bit darker, which I think was I the did. right de decision to make. Yeah because it, it, it should work out really well. Now for the, uh, the, to cover up the holes in there, we just used quarter inch uh, plexiglass and then we had some vinyl graphic printed, the transparent kind that you can see light through. And then that way, when these set over their existing light fixtures, you won't see the light inside there. And then they're just gonna use some kind of a flame bulb like we have for the example to give the flicker. So for the bottom, I, installed a three quarter inch circle plate like a donut and uh, fiberglass and resin it in and then you can see um, I painted the inside white it got a little bit of the, the thin set mortar on there but I did that so that it would reflect a little bit of the light better which I think it did and then also you guys can see let me turn this around 
I glued some insert nuts on the back side and then that way I could put some through bolts and screws in there. And then I just drilled all my plexiglass, labeled it, because the two pumpkins are slightly different. Brilliant. Yes, <laughs> that way it wasn't hard for me. And uh, yeah, they just... And just not, like that, we've got twins. Yeah, they're not too heavy. I, I don't know how heavy they are, but they gotta be less than 50 pounds, I would think. And uh, they're just gonna set right over, and they should be good. Yeah. You did a wonderful job on these, honey. They look great. You know, it's funny, fiberglassing is such a tedious task, but when there's two people, it makes it a little bit better, doesn't it? Yeah. One, it goes faster, and two, you can actually like have a conversation and stuff. How many colors did you use on this? Is this like three colors blended together? I think there's four colors on there. I think there's a base and then three blending colors. And then we clear coated it mm -hmm. with the uh, Hellsman. Ex and everything is exterior paint. Yes, um, so it lasts. Yeah. UV. Yep. These things are cooking right now, sitting in the sun. They're like 100 degrees. I'm cooking in the sun. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is wrap these with plastic, get some blankets around them, and get them loaded up. Yay! Huge shout out to the Winchester Mansion for hiring us and letting us be a part of your All Hallows Eve experience that's coming up this October. If you guys are in the area, definitely go check it out. There is fun stuff in the gardens, in the grounds, and there's a very fun spooky tour on the inside that you guys definitely want to see and if you guys go and you see some of our stuff which we also have some other videos coming out for other props that we did definitely tag us in that uh, Hollywood Haunter on Instagram we would love to see you guys and what you guys thought of all of our stuff we have there and if this is your first time seeing one of our videos thank you guys so much for stopping by we hope you check out a lot of our other videos we have also hit that subscribe button, the like button, and comment. All right, take care. Bye.